I need a net. Oh my god, don't come off. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're in the kayak today and we are busting out a six mile float. Uh, got off work early. Hit up my dude, uh, Jason Wolf from Wolfhead Outfitters and he has a guiding, he guides on the big river and uh, shuttles too. So he shuttled me today. I hit him up and he met me at the takeout, picked me up, loaded up my gear and dropped me off up river. So uh, really reasonably, reasonably priced as well and a super cool dude, knows his stuff. So if you guys want to learn how to river fish or just want him to drop you off so you can get some fishing in, uh, there'll be a link down below. You guys can go ahead and hit him up. Uh, it'll be his Facebook page. Just shoot him a message, just talk to him about fishing, see what he can do, see what he can help you out with. So super cool dude. So if you want to learn a little bit about fishing, hit him up and yeah. But we're going to be throwing what I got on today. The rat. Top water. I'm going to throw a lot of top water today. I got the rat tied on right now. I did it very well like two weeks ago on this river with it. And then I also have this custom painted bluegill swim bait here. Real loud, real noisy. Pretty dang big. Hopefully, it gets us a big one today. My buddy Chad Fleer painted that up uh, from Council Bluff. Uh, cranks and I will leave a link down below for him as well. He paints up a lot of custom baits man does a really good job on them. He's got some more baits coming for me really soon uh, Hopefully we can nail some big ones today, but I'm gonna get to fishing. I'm about to pass up some good water So stick around and see what we can find today guys. So I have a crankbait a little KVD 1.5 tied on and this chatter bait is gonna get switched out for that swim bait here in a little while I'm going to go ahead and start off with a rat. We're going to throw a rat all through here. Fish a lot of top water today. Uh, got some nice overcast today. A couple storms in the area. So these fish should be wanting to hit some good top water lures here. I also have a few other top waters I plan on throwing today. One of the which is the grass burner. I forget who makes it but they're kind of hard to find i don't think they really make them a lot anymore but my buddy jason who dropped me off at uh has wolfhead outfitters he's been throwing a grass burner a lot he's got a couple that's custom painted by chad fleer and uh he's been catching a lot of big fish lately on it so i'm finally gonna bust mine out and give it a go oh that was a good one already guys Dang it. Right off the bat, just getting started here. Had about a 15, 16 inch smallie just smack the rat. I was just looking for it, thinking, man, if I hook into a big one, I'm gonna need the net here. And uh, do not have one with me. I literally left it sitting right on the gravel bar, right where I just took off from. I'm not very far down the river. But there's a riffle in between us that I don't feel like trying to get back up. Had that net for a long time. It's kind of crappy. So I guess we'll just go ahead and leave it. This is going to be real fun without a net and a kayak. Without a net on the bank, I kind of just get them up to the shore and it's all right. But from this kayak, it's going to be fun. bait around for a little bit through here it's kind of a real big hole I want to be able to kind of burn something kind of burn something and make quick work of it there's one Nice large mouth. That is when you need the net. Nice little large mouth. On the chatterbait. There we go. Smoked it. He's, he's kind of skinny, but a pretty good one. 
There we go. Nice little large mouth. Heck yeah. Oh, there you go. Gave us a show there. Splashed me right in the face. All right, one on the chatterbait already. That's why I wanted to pick this up, just cover a bunch of water. If you guys are not familiar with what a grass burner is, this is what it is. Basically a buzz bait, but with this big fish looking thing and a big skirt, two trebles, big one on the back, swims like this, and the prop spins like a buzz bait. So that is what we're gonna throw. Looks a little crazy. But Jason has been catching some big fish on it. And I've had this bait for probably two months and have not thrown it yet. Jason's been hammering on it, so that convinced me to go ahead and get it out and give it a try. I'm about to get washed into the riffle here. But this is what this bait does. Just like a buzz bait. But then it looks like there's a big bait fish back behind it. Uh, been pretty good so far, guys. Had quite a bit of action on the top water. They just weren't eating that rat good. Nothing real big yet, but hopefully we get some huge blow ups on this grass burner. I've seen videos of Jason posting videos, or Jason's posted some videos of this thing and they hammer it. I can't believe there wasn't a fish right through here. Oh, there might be one right over here. Yep. Oh my god. Nice large mouth. Did you guys hear that blow up? Holy cow on the grass burner. Oh, I seen a wake over here. I'm like, oh that might be a big fish. And these hooks got him good too. There we go, another good largemouth guys. Whew. That was awesome. Did you guys hear that blow up? No smallies yet, just two good largemouth. There's another one on the grass burner. Spotted bass. We're gonna hit the old grand slam today. We're gonna catch a smallie spot and a largie. I didn't know if I'd get a spot on this float or not. There we go, a little spotted bass. Some of this water is going to get real skinny like this. And other parts will be real big. Kind of a real diverse system through here my god not real big but did you see that blow up that is the blow ups that Jason has been telling me about my goodness now I know why he throws the grass burner Look how little this fish is, and how fierce that freaking bite was. Holy cow. If I caught that fish with my eyes closed, and I heard that blow up, and felt that initial tug, I would have guessed that was a 17 or 18 inch fish. All day. I guess we'll kind of set a goal today. I want a 19 inch smallie, or a 4 pound large mouth that's what we're looking for today haven't caught a big river largemouth in a while 
been catching a lot of river a lot of river smallies lately but nothing huge I got to see a big one in the last tournament I did my buddy caught a 20 incher Not the good fish I was talking about. Little spot. Little spot of grass. Sometimes these real skinny pinches like this could have big fish in it. There's just a ton of bait fish all right there. I cast it there, but. cast there but didn't have any luck doesn't mean there ain't something right through here though yep just like that <laughs> another large mouth this one's a little better though <laughs> oh these blow-ups are not gonna get old today now, I thought that was a smallie for sure there we go, another nice river largemouth. It's a good one, probably 17 inches or so. Oh. There was a decent little smallie attacking that one too while I was reeling it in. Oh. I told you guys, once you catch a couple largemouth, and typically on this river, it's gonna be a largemouth day. I don't know why, but... I don't even know if that's a freaking thing. That's how it's been for me usually. News guys, Jason has my dip net, or my landing net. It's in his car still. So I didn't leave it laying on the gravel bar back there. Oh, that, that's nice. I'd like to have it. But Jason grabbed half of my stuff out of the car and carried it down for me. And I just wasn't even paying attention. We were sharing some stories and talking about stuff. I thought he grabbed my dip net. I wasn't even paying attention. There's one. Another spotted bass, man. It's all right, these things will keep us entertained. It's a kind of a golden one. These things will keep us entertained until we hammer some big dogs. I'm not gonna hammer any big dogs like that. All right, I think we gotta drag around up here, maybe. Look, all these bait fish, you guys can't see them, I know, but all these bait, oh man. All these bait fish were sitting here and that bass was right up here feeding on them. Woo, it's getting windy, man. All right, let's get this kayak down here into some water. What do we call it, one smallmouth only? not good whenever you're out here after a smallmouth. Just, just like that, we're back in. Ready to go. fish here. That's that. That's a big fish. I need the net. Oh, 
Oh my God, don't come off. Oh, freaking beast. Oh my God. I was like, there's gotta be a fish here. Holy cow, on the grab burner. Look at that, that is my, that's a freaking giant. That is a freaking giant. Oh my God. Right there guys, 20 inches. 20 and a quarter. No. Yep, 20.25 baby, 20 and a quarter, just over 20. What a giant fish. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? She goes, giant. That fish crushed it, you guys, right here. Right this little bottleneck kind of area, currents pushing at the top. Smoked at 20.25. We got rain coming in, coming in the area. I am jacked up right now. Huge shout out to Jason Wolf, guys, putting me out on the river today, making this possible. Telling me about the grass burner. Oh, he just caught me that 20.25 20 inch fish. He was just as much part of that fish as I was. If you guys want to catch these huge smallmouth like this, catching good large mouth, let's hit up Jason for real. Whew, what a fish. He was sitting right here, just waiting. All right guys, that float was actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. I thought I was like halfway through at that point when I caught that big fish, but it was actually right after that it turned to a big kind of dead long straight stretch and that was kind of the end of the float there didn't catch anything else the rest of the way it was uh probably another couple hundred yards to the end but definitely worth it uh it was actually it was about half the distance as the float i thought i was on i thought i was on like a six mile but i was actually on like a three mile float so uh definitely worth it though you know got off work early went there busted that out real quick and then had plenty of time to rest of the day to go do run some errands and stuff but ended up catching plenty of fish for that short of a float and the water's so low it ain't like these fish are all stacked up in spots i mean they're pretty spread out right now it seems like because uh ain't really a lot of water from the stack up in so uh you guys can see that super clear but uh that grass burner was definitely getting it done and just so you guys know i'm almost 90 percent sure that that was a mean mouth which is a smally and spotted bass hybrid so that would be my pb uh, mean mouth right there you guys just saw uh, Heat of the moment landed it wasn't even thinking about checking it out too close. I just thought holy I got a 20 inch smally in my hands. So uh, Yeah, but had Shared the picture with some friends and they kind of agreed that it looks like a mean mouth. So uh, Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you guys know what a mean mouth is if you guys think that is one or not let me know and uh other than that, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Down below, you guys will find the links to both Woodhead, Wolfhead Outfitters. If you guys want to get on the river and do some fishing on that river, it's an awesome fishery. Uh, or get some custom baits painted. That grass burner, Chad's been painting a lot of those up. He's been painting a lot of, uh, like, gill glide stuff that I've been throwing uh, some smaller bluegill and uh, bluegill and like bait fish type swim baits. He's been working on a lot of green sunfish stuff and uh, he's got a lot of good stuff coming out guys. Uh, painting up a lot of whopper ploppers too. Uh, but head on over there, check out their stuff. Check out Jason. Shoot Jason a message, talk to him. And uh, other than that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, down below, you know what to do. Hit that like. Subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.